Well, hopefully you guys aren't hearing too much wind. This is week one at Carrick. We're just finishing up the week. Um, so far we've caught seven foxes, so that's really good. Man, the wind is just going today. Um, I thought I'd show you my tent. So right in here is where I sleep. Uh, I got my sleeping bag right there, some clothes. That's not everything that I brought, but some of them. And the most important thing is some toilet paper in the side here, because sometimes you just need to go in the middle of the night. Maybe if I move you guys in here. So that's my vestibule, so that's like the way to the outside. But it's been super windy today. It's the first day that it's really been that windy. I'm trying to find the good light here, you guys, I'm sorry. So far, we've seen caribou, lots of foxes. Um, trapping hasn't been as successful as last year, unfortunately, but I think it's gonna pick up. And moved into a tent very early in May. It's uh, all snow outside, but apparently inside of a tent is a lot warmer than the actual, the building that we have with all of the the bunks just because the building isn't insulated and in a tent you have a lot less room to heat up so in the mornings you wake up and it's not as cold it's definitely way colder in the main cabin where most people sleep so I'm happy that I got into a tent but we'll see how it does when it starts to melt because that's the big question is whether or not there's gonna be water flowing underneath my tent So far we've caught some foxes. I did record one fox, I think, for you. It was inside of a, a tarp that was all rolled up, but I'll show you guys some footage right now of um, some of the trapping that we've been doing for this past week. Oh. All right, you guys, so we got a fox in there. It's the second time that we've trapped. Um, we put them under a snowmobile under the skis so that they can't move while they're recovering. So when she's all good, then she'll run away. And we're really close to camp. Um, can you see right there? Here's camp. Oh, I got dead. We've also just been snowmobiling around and looking at dens, so we need to figure out whether or not a den is active, which means that hopefully there's gonna be pups that the mom has. Um, in the middle of winter, the way that we tell that a den is active is we actually, we look and see if they are clearing out at least one hole. Um, if they're constantly digging out a hole so that air can flow through and they have access to inside of their den, then chances are that there may be pups down there. Um, some of the foxes that we have captured, we did palpate the abdomen and they have been pregnant. So it's very promising for a really good pup year. I'm really excited to show you guys what's coming. I did get some of the best shots that I've ever gotten of foxes. So um, this one fox that I'm gonna show you right now, her name is Scarlet. She is a fox that did breed last year um, and she has a den that's open. So hopefully I get to work with her pups um, in July. So we'll see if, if she actually is successful and has some pups, but she's beautiful. So I'll show you some clips right now. entrance we just found it so basically besides doing trapping I have just set up my tent um, it took a long time it takes almost a full day to set it up because you have to put rocks down and you have to um, get rocks all around the outside in the Arctic you don't really have the ability to stake down a tent so you either have to like keep it down with snow or you keep it down with rocks and so I'm on a rock face right now. 
all of the rocks that I could collect are on the outside of my tent so that it doesn't blow away in the wind. Um, so that took me a full day and then uh, we've just been trapping a whole bunch um, which involves sitting in a tent for a really long time waiting for a fox to come. So I'll show you a clip here um, of one of the foxes that I was able to actually record going into the trap. Unfortunately when the trap door went down sometimes they don't get their full body in so their tail, like the little tiny bit of the tail is still sticking out and the trap door goes down, which is a little bit sad, but um, she got her tail out and she was fine. Um, she didn't do any damage or anything. Her name is Beyonce. And the reason why she was named Beyonce is because she actually sings a lot. So she, in the trap, howls and howls. It's not necessarily a happy singing. Um, she's more upset and angry that she's in the trap, but she recovered well. She went off and actually we, we did palpate her abdomen and I think there's some pups in there too, so it's going to be a good pup year. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, she's so close. Oh my gosh. We got it. Yeah. Um, besides that, really there hasn't been much else going on. So I'm going to sign off for this week. So that's week one at Carrick and stay tuned for next week. Bye.